typical cross-section of uh, mud wrestlers and yuppies here again this evening. <laughs> 200 people in our audience, so everybody's equal, but in the next half hour of your lives during the course of this programme, we reduce that audience down to one, but that person will win £1,000. <laughs> I knew you'd do that. And they could well go on to win £2,000. There's up to £3,000 in prize money in all tonight, uh, shared amongst this audience quite probably before the end of the show. But we must say that most of the audience tonight will go home with absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's a very high-tech sort of show, which is probably why I was such an obvious choice. You're all connected to... A, it seems to amuse people. You're all connected to a computer. We know all about all 200 of you. We've got all sorts of stuff on all of you. You're all connected by a keypad to that. You'll have a series of questions, a series of choices. The answers will be one, two, three or four. If you make the correct choice, you stay in. If you make the wrong choice, you're out. And the one left at the end is the... Winner! See, you can do it if you concentrate. Good, right. Lively audience tonight. A lot of people here from Charrington. So Charrington's here. Hey! Yes, there they are. <laughs> Small but very, very noisy. And a lot of people here from Thompson Holidays tonight. Hey! Very, very, very noisy. And also the Allied Brewers quiz team. Yes! Fabulous fun, it sounds, in their pubs. <laughs> right, the computer actually every night, we obviously don't want to talk to, with the greatest respect, we don't want to talk to all 200 of you in the audience because that would be a very, very, very long, boring programme. But uh, the computer picks out three or four at random. Let's see who we got here tonight. Let's have a look. We've got Sandra Prescott, I think that's her name. Yes, she's 27, she's a telesales operator, so she's very, very fat fit. <laughs> Says, likes watching bread and only fools and horses. Her hobbies are singing and knitting, and she's currently knitting herself a man. Um, <laughs> sitting up there somewhere we've got Andrew Cameron from Thompson's. Um, it's remarkably popular, he sounds. Um, <laughs> probably because nobody can pronounce his full name. Apparently his full name no, is no, Andrew no, no, Gabriel no, no, Alexandra no. Arthur Peter Cameron. <laughs> and his hobbies are watching his kitchen decorate itself. <laughs> Look forward to half an hour of him, won't we? Um, Tom Whitbread's here tonight. He's sitting up over there. Hi, Tom. He's 45. He's a London cabbie. His state of health fit to drop. And the computer says his favourite hobbies are A, bird watching, and B, censored. And also up there, I think, Patrick Jordan works for London Catering. Hooray! Boy, they sound popular. His hobby's counting money. <laughs> And according to his office, he's wearing his Union Jack shorts tonight, especially for the occasion. Where are you, Patrick? Patrick, stand up. Let's have a look. No, none of the shorts, Patrick. No, very unpleasant. Now, how are you feeling? Fairly confident? Very good. Thank you? you. Think you're pretty likely to, uh, to take the grand? Both of them. <laughs> yeah, right. Basically, you're all linked to these keypads, 200 of you, but one of you in the next course of this television programme will win at least £1,000. Let's get started. All on your keypads, linked to the computers. We get your answers as fast as you press these buttons. Here's the first one. It's a film question. Have a look at this. There, right, nice and easy to start with. What is the name of this right-wing French politician? Ten seconds, press your keypads, here we go. Ten seconds, is he? Monsieur Le Biro, Monsieur Le Plume, Monsieur Le Pen, or Monsieur Le Bic? He's one of those. Five more seconds. Have a guess if you don't know, otherwise you'll definitely go out. Two more seconds. Biro, Plume, Le Pen, or Le Bic? Which one is he? Right, you've all completed your votes. Let's see, first of all, how you voted on the computer. What did you do? Sensibly, nobody at all voted for Biro. <laughs> 34 of you voted for Le Plume. Uh, Monsieur Le Pen got 147, and Monsieur Le Bic got five. <laughs> First of all, let's see then what the correct solution was. It's Monsieur Le Pen, well done. <laughs> so, let's have a look, what have we got? 147 of you got that right, which means already in round one, we're getting through them a bit quick tonight, we've got rid of 53 people. <laughs> One of whom was our computer's... one of our computer's four to follow, Sandra Prescott. <laughs> Sandra, what, tell me what you voted for, darling. What happened? Which one? Mr. Bic. Mr. Mr. Le Bic. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, today, listening to my colleague that wasn't hearing her... It was her, what? Listening to my colleague and hearing her wrong. <laughs> yes. You should have sat next to somebody else, really, shouldn't you? <laughs> Never mind, yeah, Best of luck with the knitting. You still may come back towards the end of the game. There's still more money to be won at the end of the night. You could get some yet. People have on this series. OK, right. Stay there quietly for now. 147 left in. 53 have gone out after one round. Right, second question. Here we go. Fingers on your keypads. 
which of these London railway stations does not appear on a Monopoly board? Right, here we go, ten seconds. Is it Liverpool Street, King's Cross, Waterloo or Fenchurch Street? One of those isn't on Monopoly. When you play it, one of those does not take any part at all in the game. You've got two more seconds. Come on, press a keypad, have a vote if you don't know. Ooh, right, let's see how you voted. <laughs> Liverpool Street, three. Uh, King's Cross, four. Waterloo, 110. Think of an idea what might be the right answer. And <laughs> 15 on Fenchurch Street. They don't reckon that appears on a Monopoly board. Righto, let's see what the correct solution is. Have a look. 110 for Waterloo. 110 got it right, 37 have gone. I've already... I've lost Patrick Jordan now as well. Patrick, where are you? Oh, no, we liked him, and he was oh, so sure he was no. going to win £2,000 at least. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick, fabulous to have met you. You're at... Right! 110 left in. You still may come back towards the end for money. I keep mentioning that, but that has happened a couple of times on the show. Right, 110 left in. One of these 110 will win at least £1,000, could win the two grand. Right, here we go. Question number three. It's a picture question again. Have a look at this piece of film, first of all. Then I'll ask you a question. Have a look. Excuse me? What, uh, what did I do? Is I hit it, what, what, what did I do wrong? I hit it like this? I mean, what? Like that? Is that abusive ball? There he is. You are the pits of the world! Ten seconds on this one. Who is this sportsman's father-in-law? Ooh. He's one of these four. Who is he? Is he Robert Redford? Is he George Siegel? Is he Walter Matthau? Or is he Ryan O'Neill? Come on, you've got five more seconds. 110 left. One of those four is McEnroe's father-in-law. Which one is he? Time stops now. Right, let's see how you voted. Nobody for Robert Redford. Somebody reckons that George Siegel is John McEnroe's father-in-law, and 108 for Ryan O'Neill. I think possibly that may be more likely to be correct. Let's have a look. What's the answer? Ryan O'Neill! <laughs> and, of course, the great thing about everybody being linked up to a computer is that we can find everybody, because I can tell you, the person who thought that uh, George Siegel was actually McEnroe's father-in-law, puzzlingly, was Tom Gregory. <laughs> Where are you, Tom? There you are. Stand up so everyone can look at you. You can feel really embarrassed. <laughs> Can I just ask? Can I just ask why you came to that conclusion? Was it just a wild guess, or wild guess, yeah. it was a wild guess, a wild wrong guess? Sadly, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, we still got Andrew Cameron. Where's Tom Whitbread? Tom, where are you, Tom? You're the cabbie, aren't you? That's the one. You're doing you enjoying it so far. Well, the show, yeah, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> feeling, feeling fairly. Um, well, basically, you think it's beautiful because you're still in. Yeah, that's a shock. <laughs> OK, best of luck. We've still got Tom, we've still got Andrew Cameron. Right, here we go. Let's move on. Which of these national newspapers has never been edited by a woman? Ten seconds, best of luck, 108 left in. Here we go. Is it the Sunday Express? Is it the Sunday People, the Sunday Mirror or the News of the World? Sunday Express, Sunday People, Sunday Mirror, News of the World. One of those has never been edited by a woman. Two more seconds, have a guess if you don't know. One more second, time's up. Right, that may well thin you out, I think. Let's see. Let's see how you did. Let's have a look how you voted, first of all. 27th of the Express, 1 for the People, 16 for the Sunday Mirror and 42 for the News of the World. Right, whichever way, that's going to thin quite a lot of you down. Let's have a little look, then. What's the correct answer? <laughs> Sunday Express, 27 left in. <laughs> You've gone, haven't you, Tom? Yeah. You've blown it, haven't you, son? <laughs> It's <laughs> a cabbie's favourite. So, sorry about that, you're out. And also Andrew Cameron's gone, so I'm afraid our, uh, our four to follow this evening, try and track their progress. They've all disappeared. We've got 27 left in. 27 left. Now, we're going to reduce these now to 10 to take through to part two, and one of those 10 people will win at least £1,000. There's up to £3,000 in prize money to be won in about the next quarter of an hour of your lives. I'm going to reduce that 27 down to 10 by a timed round. So you've got to be correct, but you've also got to be very quick. The first correct solutions, the first ten through the computer, go through to the next round. Right, here we go. Let's have a look at the question first of all. Who succeeded Queen Victoria as Britain's monarch? Here we go. Press your buttons. Now, as soon as you know, was it Edward VII, George V, William IV or James VI? Edward VII, George V, William IV or James VI? Edward VII, George V, William IV, James VI. Let's see, first of all, how you voted on that. I had 27. Let's see, first of all, how you did. 16 for Edward the Seventh, seven for George the Fifth, nobody for William the Fourth, and four for James the Sixth. <laughs> they might be right. Who knows? 
OK, let's have a look, then. Let's have a look, first of all, at the correct solution. Edward the Seventh is right. Right, so it's Edward the Seventh. He came to the throne at the age of 59. He died at 68. He just about got used to enjoying his bus pass, really. So, <laughs> 16 of you got it right, but I can only take 10 through. So, your appreciation, please, for the 10 who got the fastest times with that correct answer. Here they are, these 10. <laughs> the fastest one of all was Ross Grudge in Germany, just over one second, 1 1.6. Michelle Courtney, Philip Diaper, Patrick Benning, Raj Khanna, Carol Baird, Peter Higgs, Jim Edwards, Kathleen Robb, 16. One more, Connie Cameron. Well done, all of you. We'll take a break. You're in a couple of minutes' time, there'll be £2,000 to be won. Join us again. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of Everybody's Equal. Well, about a quarter of an hour ago, we started with 200 people. We've reduced them now down to 10. And from now on, it gets serious. One of those ten people will win up to £2,000. We've got £3,000 to give away in the next few minutes of uh, all our lives. And from now on, for every correct answer, for all of you ten, you all get 50 quid anyway. Great. <laughs> OK, so let's see who the ten are. One of these is going to win at least £1,000. Here we are. We've got Ross Crudgington. We've got Kathleen Robb. We've got Jim Edwards. We've got Carol Baird. We've got Philip Diaper. We've got Michelle Courtney. We've got Peter Higgs. We've got Raj Khanna, we've got Patrick Benning, and we've got Connie Cameron. <laughs> OK, best of luck, everybody. Back on your keypads, back into our computer. I must say here, Michelle, I happen to know because I was listening to this, Michelle was sitting next to her boyfriend in the front there, he whispered her the right answer, and then he pressed his keypad wrong. <laughs> so basically, he's out, and on the strength of his answer, she's here. So she may well end up uh, winning £1,000 and probably not sharing it with him. Right, OK, here we go. Best of luck. It's a film question. First of all, have a look at this. Yeah, C wouldn't have dared do that to Mrs Thatcher, would it? What is the Christian name of this politician's wife? Four alternatives coming up. Back in the computer. Here we go. Best of luck, all ten of you. One of you's going to win £1,000 in the next few minutes. Is it Gillian? Is it Gladys? Is it Geraldine or Glennis? One of those four is the name of that politician's wife. Is it Gillian, Gladys, Geraldine or Glennis? One more second. Have a guess if you don't know. Right, let's see, first of all, how you voted. <laughs> One or two surprising choices. Uh, nobody for Gillian. One for Gladys. It's Neil Kinnock, of course. I'll make Gladys Kinnock. Um, one for Geraldine. And eight for Glennis. Let's see the correct solution. <laughs> Glennis! <laughs> so, Connie, you've gone, haven't you, darling? And you're a cub mistress. I thought you'd know things. Are you a proper one? You do all that dip dip and all that dip. Yeah. Whatever. You, what are you, Barlu or something? I certainly am. Are you Barlu? Yeah. That's the only one I know. That's all. <laughs> which um, which one of those? Do you have Gladys? I certainly did. I panicked. I'm afraid. Panic and press the, the button saying Gladys. And we lost Jim as well. Sorry, James. Jim actually has been all, he keeps looking and hitting his keypad. Sorry, Sancho. I'm afraid you pressed the wrong button. It's basically what's called pressing the wrong button. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so sadly, we say goodbye to Jim and Connie. Ah. <laughs> They're plunged into darkness, but it does mean that the other eight left in, Ross, Kathleen, Carol, Philip, Michelle, Peter, Raj and Patrick, one of those will win a grand, but they've all now got £50. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> OK, next question. Which of these French fashion designers was a woman? Four alternatives. Which one was a woman? Yves Saint Laurent, Christian Dior, Coco Chanel or Jean Petit? Uh, three more seconds. Come on, one of those four was a woman. Which one? Time ends now. Right. Getting a bit serious now. Eight of you left in, two have gone. Let's see how you voted, first of all, you remaining eight. Eight of you for Coco Chanel. Well, let's see. Let's see if that's the correct solution. I think it just might be. Let's have a look. That's right, well done. Just <laughs> here, uh, Coco Chanel's real name was Gabrielle. But she had logically changed it to Coco. Yes. I think I understand that. Right, keep going, keep going. Still eight of you in. Well done, well done. Now, like foresight. Well, no, maybe. Eight of you still left in, which means all eight of you have now got a hundred pounds. 
<laughs> right, one of you eight will win £1,000, but you've all at least got £100. Best of luck. Here we go again. This is a film question. Have a look at this clip, then I'll ask you a question. Have a look. And in this precarious business, as you know, you got to be on safeguard, make sure you got somebody who's sober and responsible and on time. Badly needs a haircut, doesn't he? In which of these films did this star appear? Four films, in which one did that star, whoever he may be, appear? Into the computer now on your keypads. Have a guess if you don't know. The Third Man, The Magnificent Seven, Twelve Angry Men or The Dirty Dozen? It was one of those four. Which one? The Third Man, Magnificent Seven, Twelve Angry Men or Dirty Dozen? Time stopped. Eight of you left in. Bust of luck, everybody. Let's see how you voted. Oh, nobody for Third Man. Two for Magnificent Seven. Uh, nobody for 12 angry men and six for the dirty dozen. Right, let's see the answer. What was the correct solution? <laughs> well done, six of you still in. Six of you still in and um, Ross Crudgington, sadly you've gone, you've got 100 pounds, but um, ah, we liked him, ah. <laughs> He's actually keeps saying to me, all I want to do is go for a wee wee. <laughs> Well, you can't go till the end, but uh, you've already got £100. And also on that round, let's have a look. We lost Patrick as well. Pat, you've gone, haven't you? Which one did you go for? Uh, Magnificent Seven. Magnificent Seven. No, he wasn't in that. Sorry, Sunshine. So, sadly, bye-bye to Ross and to Patrick. <laughs> Plunge those into darkness, but it does mean the remaining six now, Kathleen, Carol, Philip, Michelle, Peter and Raj, they've now got £150. <laughs> Right. I can tell you now that of those six, in the next minute, minute and a half, one of those people is going to win at least £1,000, because this is a timed round. Six of you left in. The fastest one basically wins the £1,000, OK? So you must be right, but you must also be as fast as possible. So fingers on those keypads. It's not a particularly difficult question, but I'll tell you that. But uh, you've got to get the correct solution and you've got to be as fast as you possibly can. OK? Best of luck, all six of you. We've got Kathleen, we've got Carol, we've got Philip, we've got Michelle, we've got Peter and we've got Raj. <laughs> OK, I bet your boyfriend's really sick now, Michelle. Here we go. Best of luck, darling. England won the 1966 World Cup. <laughs> but which country did they beat in the final? Fast as you possibly can. Sweden, Brazil, Russia or West Germany. One of those. Sweden, Brazil, Russia, West Germany. You've got five more seconds. You probably won't need it. Sweden, Brazil, Russia, West Germany. Press that keypad as fast as you possibly can. Right. Six of you left in. One of you now wins £1,000. The rest of you still get £50 if you get that correct answer. Let's have a look, first of all, how you all voted. I thought you might. I thought you might. Let's look at the correct solution. Probably a bit of a formality, I suspect. Let's have a look. West Germany, right. I must tell you, as a point of information, the only person I think I've ever met in the world who didn't know the answer to that was actually the producer of this programme. It's a true story, and he'd probably <laughs> be thoroughly embarrassed. Right, so, six of you left in. Let's have a look now at the five fastest times. It means, sadly, one of you's out already. Let's have a look at the five fastest, and one of those will win £1,000. We've still got Carol Baird, we've got Raj Khanna, we've got Philip Diaper, we've got Peter Higgs, and we've still got Michelle Courtney. Well done. It means uh, Kathleen was just that little bit too slow. Michelle, whose boyfriend told her the answer, is still in the running. <laughs> right, the times will come up now. You've all got £200, but one of you will win £1,000 for being the fastest with that correct solution. Best of luck, all of you. Here we go. Who was the fastest? Tell us, computer, who was the fastest with that answer? Oh. It was Raj Khanna who's just won £1,000. Well done. Well, at the top of the show, we had 200 people. We reduced them down to one. Five people have gone away with 200 pounds, and this guy, Raj Khan, has won 1,000 pounds. Come on, Raj. Congratulations, <laughs> well done. I keep calling you, um, you Raj, actually. Oh, thank well, you. Raj, it's yeah. Raj, isn't it? Raj, where, where yes. are you from? I'm from uh, Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Raj yes. Karna from Northern Ireland. It's a very Irish name, isn't it? Yeah. What do, you, what do you do for a living? I'm a student. Student. So, yes. I've got a lot of people sitting there who are absolutely delighted to see a student winning a thousand pounds. Oh, great, that's really pleased me. <laughs> no, but you did terribly well. You did find it fairly difficult. Which ones worried you? Which ones you didn't think you got the right answer? None of them. They were all extremely easy. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like it, do we? 
If he gets the next question right, the last question on that right, he wins another £1,000. But if he's wrong, those of you in the audience who got it right, you share the £1,000. Ah, that's getting better. <laughs> right, so 199 of you back in, all back on your keypads. Uh, it's slightly difficult, this question. It's slightly different from the other ones, because we want you to rearrange a sequence. So four numbers will come up. We want you to rearrange all four of those numbers. In other words, press all four keys in order. Let's have a look at the question first of all. Uh, let's have a look at this. This is hard. As you may have spotted. You can't tell me the answer. I beg your pardon, will I tell you the answer? Yeah. Uh, no, no, it doesn't work like that. Basically, you tell us the answer, and if it's right, you get money. Ah. Okay? Right. <sighs> right, okay. Starting from the most junior, place these army ranks in order. It is difficult, but there is another thousand pounds involved. So basically, you want to know which one's the most junior of the army ranks and then up towards whatever the top one is, okay? OK, you'll have 15 seconds. Either he wins £1,000 or some of you do. OK, best of luck, everybody. We want to know the sequence as fast as you see them. Decide which one you think is the correct sequence. Here we go. You've got 15 seconds and I'll take your answer as soon as the 15 stops, OK? Right, here we go. Major General, Brigadier, Field Marshal, Lieutenant Colonel. You've got 12 more seconds. Rearrange those. Starting from the most junior first, place them in order to the most senior. Major General, Brigadier, Field Marshal, Lieutenant Colonel. Have a guess if you don't know. You could win £1,000. Oh, that's hard. Right. OK, first of all, you're already tonight's winner. You've already got £1,000. Let's take your sequence first of all. So let's see, computer, what first of all is going to be our winner's sequence. Now, what have you chosen? Two, one, four, three. Two, one, four, three, he said, hopefully. Two, Brigadier, Major General, Lieutenant Colonel, and then Field Marshal. OK, punch that one up, computer. Let's look at that. This is the winner's choice for tonight. <laughs> Somebody that's, no, oh, he's got it right. I don't know, I'm not so sure. That's your winner's sequence, OK? Brigadier, Major General, Lieutenant Colonel, Field Marshal. We'll ask for the correct sequence. If it comes up exactly like that, you've won another £1,000 to go with the £1,000 you've already won. Not a bad night so far. In not any a case, bad you keep night that for going. a student, indeed. <laughs> not bad at all. Right, OK, let's have a look then. We want the correct sequence slowly on the right hand side. Punch it up for me, computer. Let's have a look. First of all, then, on that right hand side, up comes the correct sequence. This is Raj's on the left. Ah. Uh. Straight away. Let's have a look at the others. Lieutenant Colonel, Brigadier, Major General and Field Marshal. Not to worry, this guy's already won £1,000 tonight. Well done. And I can tell you that 22 people in the audience got that correct sequence and they all share £1,000. That breaks down to £45.46p. Join us again next time for Everybody's Equal. From us, good night. Well done. Great audience. Oh,